I usually start it, especially with the new pistol that I haven't shot. I try to start about 10, get an idea where my zero is, and then I'll back it up to 25 and confirm. But uh, we're already set up at 25 and I don't feel like moving the camera, so we're gonna start at 25. First shot. Hey guys, we are out on the range today with the Gerson MCP-35, their high power clone. I was originally going to do a Springfield, the SA-35, do a video on that. I really like the way those look, like the way they feel, just kind of everything about them. But I uh, found this thing for pretty cheap and decided to run with it. So we're going to test it out and see what happens. Took it out this weekend with a couple hundred rounds. Yeah, we better better go up to 10 and confirm. That wasn't that great. Overall, I said it, it shot really well. 200 rounds, no issues. I had one little bobble somewhere here in the video where I didn't let the trigger fully reset. Honestly, any problem I have with this pistol is more of a problem with high powers in general. Not so much with the Gerson version. So uh, we'll get into a little bit of that. Hard to see all the individuals but i was pretty much holding center so i'm definitely favoring left a little bit we'll slow it down see if it's just me I, I feel like i'm consistently left i tried a couple of different holds here i was holding right about here and they all kind of right in there that was from 25 it's not a bad group for 25 but it is a little left uh here i was kind of holding right in here to see once again not bad and then i just threw a couple of quick shots to the torsos it's not bad i was shooting kind of quick i did i think i threw one off the left into the dirt there you guys couldn't see that but i'll be honest so i definitely favored left quite a bit with this pistol i may adjust the rear side a little bit later on but uh i like to get some time on the trigger and with the grip and kind of experiment around before i start changing sights make sure it's not just me i had quite a few that were hitting center and then a quite a few that were hitting left so i'm not sure which one's me yet so i gotta figure that out before i go making too many adjustments but it shot very well functioned very well i dropped it multiple times during this outing Dropped it off the trailer, dropped it off the truck. I was just a mess this weekend, but uh, but uh, it, it ran good. And for those of you wondering, it comes with one 15-round Metgar magazine. I did go ahead and pick up a couple of extra for this outing. Uh, they're about 30 bucks. I think they're like 29 and change a piece. So, yeah, right in the middle. They're not too crazy high, but, I mean, not super cheap. Right there that little flinch dead trigger i did a quick mag check a little press check and uh look good yeah, something happened there let's check it again I think I uh, overran the trigger, or uh, what's the word? I didn't let it reset. Check it out. The uh... Hey, editing me here. I saw this stupid little mustache hair while I was editing this video, and it just bugging the absolute crap out of me. Like, I just, I just want to reach in there and... Ah, oh, it's just 
it's irritating me so much. I'm gonna go find it right now and cut it. Anyways, back to the video. Reset on this thing is pretty much non-existent. So triggers much better after I took out the disconnect safety. I watch the reset. Right there. You, if you're really, really slow and careful, you can kind of hear it, kind of feel it. Way up there. And I mean, when you're shooting it, it's almost impossible to hear or feel. And I think I, I think I tried to pull it again before it, before it fully reset. I feel like it's going more left the more I shoot. I don't think that's really possible, so I'm gonna say it's probably me. I got like six rounds left uh, out of the 200, so we're gonna go up and get right on it and see what it looks like. All right, we're gonna try to do this one-handed from about 10 yards. I just kinda wanna see where my grouping's going. I'm not really gonna focus on the camera, so sorry if I miss some of this. First couple were actually pretty good windage, but a little high, and then I think I pulled the last two. I don't know. Should have brought more 200 rounds. Yeah, come back out here later and play with this more. I really thought that I was gonna get some hammer bite, like the old models, but honestly, even though it's like right up in there, no hammer bite to speak of. Nice. So really the only problem I have with this pistol is just kind of the problems with high powers in general. The magazine disconnect, which not only gives it a really stout single action trigger, it also keeps the magazines from dropping free and just kind of annoying. And uh, the, uh, the Springfield version really kind of fixes that. They design theirs without the magazine disconnect and they have a really nice trigger in there. Uh, hopefully I'll get one of those to play with soon and we can kind of compare them. But uh, this one is quite nice. Uh, I think this one I found for under four. It was like $3.99, $3.89. And uh, the Springfields I'm seeing for right around the 7 to seven fifty range. So for that price difference, I think this thing's a steal. So far it's running great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you're if you're seeing a more than six range, I I don't know if it's worth it then really because it was kind of a pain to take the disconnect out, and uh, I'll throw some pictures of that up uh, in case you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So that little guy right there is your magazine disconnect safety. The magazine pushes it in to allow the trigger to move, and uh, the older models it was fairly easy to take out. Newer one have to beat the trigger. Uh, pin out and remove the whole trigger group and it's just it was a lot of headache that shouldn't have to be especially on a modern pistol and all the beating and smacking with the little hammer ended up walking the uh, sear pin out and then the slide locked up I didn't want to go into place so it, it was just a lot of pain that was unnecessary I believe and uh, it's always been one of the major turnoffs of uh high powers to me is the the hammer biting the disconnect safety the rough trigger i feel like the springfield fixes a lot of those and so i do want to try some of those out but so far i'm pretty impressed with this one especially for under 400 bucks uh i don't think i would spend six or more on it uh they do have i think some uh what is it the match versions with like a flat trigger no disconnect some of those seem pretty cool once again those are kind of getting up their higher in price they do have rails and fiber optics so for the price i think this thing is really pretty cool and i look forward to testing it some more